nasu. Yo, muye ta aiding kurta. Yo, aiding pi kushet. Oh, yo. In my native Finland, there are all four seasons throughout the year, which I love as I get to follow how the nature changes with all the seasons. In Kerala, we don't have as many seasons, only two. This isn't based on any scientific facts whatsoever, there are more. But I feel like here it is only either the hot season or the rainy season, in other words, the monsoon, which we stepped into in early June. Rainy. I mean, first rain, or like, what is the rain for the person? Can you go inside? The changing of the seasons in Kerala is even more special to me, as it's such a rare occurrence. I like the change, and I even like the rain. You might have seen one of my videos from a year ago of Vinod and I enjoying our first Kerala monsoon. After a long hot summer season, I have missed the chill monsoon temperatures, grey and cloudy skies, and the pouring rain again. But towards the end of the year, I will probably start missing the sunny hot summer months too, after the heavy rains will have damaged our house, and the laundry will have never dried quite well enough. Yes, she likes her baby carrier. Annika! Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Whee! And she's all dressed into warm clothes yeah. to brave the pre monsoon weather in Kerala. But then it started raining again. For a little while it already stopped raining. But then Annika got all ready to go out. And now it's raining again. I don't think we'll be able to go out any time. No, so we can't go out today. Yeah? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Annika wants to go for a walk. Rain, rain, go away. Little Annika wants to play. <laughs> yes? Oh, she's looking a little bit concerned. Oh, she should be concerned because it's quite long. Hmm. Anyways, at this very moment, I am enjoying the start of the monsoon season, mm -hmm. and Annika seems to be doing the very same, which I'm really happy about. Teaching Annika to love being outdoors and respect nature is one of our priorities as parents. Thank you. 
kunalle palele pili pili pom Well, this has absolutely nothing to do with the weather per se, or I don't know, does it? But with the monsoon comes the best weeks of mango season. Honestly, the high point for all of us in our family, even little Annika. She goes completely gaga at the sight of mangoes. You want to hold it yourself? Ah. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> She's like, Daddy, stop talking nonsense and let me eat. She must already know the connection with the fruit and the sweet juiciness in her mouth after. This is something we eagerly look forward to every year. And mommy, put the camera away and let me eat. Look at her hands. Okay. It's a whole body experience, even her toes are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, like it? You think you're ready for solids now? Hmm? I'm not sure if she's ready for solids, but she's ready for mango. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. 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 just put it in my mouth. Okay. Give me the thing, Daddy. Mm -hmm. what? Why are you taking it away? Sit properly. Okay. <laughs> she looks like, oh my god, I'm not able to eat it fast enough. And I've had only milk till now. <laughs> 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 she just like attacks it, jumps on it, and it's full on attack. Baby attacks mango. No, I so much sugar. Oi. Did you eat a mango? <laughs> Daddy, don't take it away! Don't take it away! Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's going to take it away. No. Okay. Okay, leave <laughs> One by one, all the fingers and the thumb. And of course, in Kerala, the monsoon makes pretty much everything grow plentiful. We've spotted tons of coconut, cashew and fig trees, but we can't get the coconuts from the heights, and the monkeys usually beat us to the cashew fruits. And we're not too sure if the figs here are the edible ones. It's sad to see most of the fruits in the trees just rotting away. But one day Vinod went out with his friend, and they found these huge jackfruits that they could easily pick from the tree. We've never found jackfruit in the local vegetable markets actually, so I was happy he brought the prey home to me. Well, I was happy until it was time to cut the fruit. Annika and the jackfruit. Jackfruit is bigger, and probably would win in a fight. Here is our meals tomorrow, jackfruit and Annika. So we can freeze this, maybe make ice cream or something. Yes. Who's your monkey baby? Oh, yo, yo. Inside it's a little hot. <laughs> 
Oh. Especially like after we just came from the rain. It mm. feels like sweat. Oh yeah, we'll turn on the fan at least. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Annika has developed into quite a hot-headed girl recently. So she is loving the slight dip in temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me, Daddy. I don't care about the monsoon. Give me the food. Oh. Oh. Monica, Daddy needs to eat. Okay, you can have your. Why don't you have this? Hi. <laughs> Oi. No, mm. she wants that. Mm. Daddy, I know you're fooling me. There's nothing in my pink cup. I want your cup. Yeah. Oh, it's impossible to have breakfast with. Annika, look at the rain. Look there. Oh. Don't eat this. <laughs> Nope. No, she wants just daddy's cup. Mm. Mm. <laughs> she just <laughs> wants to lick it. Better licking than biting the ceramics. Oi. Our surroundings here in the jungle are quickly turning greener and greener by the day. And Annika just loves gazing at trees and bushes on our evening strolls. Even the sunsets are more spectacular during the monsoon, coloring the sky and ocean with staggering shades of red, pink and orange. is most bewildered and fascinated by the days when it rains so much we don't even get to go out. She just loves sitting on the balcony with us and keeps staring at the pouring rain, listening to the peter patter peter patter. Hi. Tuntuuko se hyvältä? Yes. Miltä tuntuu tuuli kasvoilla? Oi, joo. staring at my dress. Of course she is. Why are you looking at me? No. <laughs> but it has unfortunately been a disappointing start for the monsoon. At the end of May, around the time of the cyclone, and still in early June, it looked quite promising. The temperature dropped, it was mostly raining, and the days were grey. We were looking forward to a monsoon, similar to the previous few years, when the rainfall has been well above average. Or at least a monsoon as good as the one last year. This time last year, I was wearing knit sweaters, and it was quite cold, raining heavily on most days, and everything was growing absolutely wild. But except for those few weeks about a month ago, it has been like any other time of the year. Hot, humid and sunny. Well, 
The rainy season lasts for almost six months in Kerala, longer than elsewhere. So of course there is still hope. But I can't help but think about global warming and climate change, especially as my native country is also going through a historical heat wave currently. I wonder if we're going towards a world of only one season, a never-ending hot summer. What a sad thought that is. It is the changing seasons that keep both the nature and our human experience so diverse. I very much hope Annika gets to properly experience all of those in her life and her first Kerala monsoon too. I also keep thinking it's our duty to preserve all of nature's glory <laughs> for our future generations. I'm by no means perfect when it comes to sustainable habits, but we're trying to learn and teach those things to Annika too. But that's already another story. Kalle kirahi. Annika on paras ystävä. Kalle. Oi. Annika on pallo. Oi. Tällä leikittiin päivällä. Joo. Muistatko? Voi. Oh. 